Hi, my name is Mason Gasho, and uh, this is my project for my Hacking and Open Source Cultures class. I chose to do a Kodi uh, device using the OSMC operating system on a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B computer. It's lightweight and powerful and compact, and mainly for educational purposes, but for my hacking project, it seemed to do the, the trick. It has a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability, so that's why I chose this exact model. I've got it plugged into a little mouse and uh, using the Bluetooth capabilities and the Bluetooth wizard built into the OSMC uh, operating system using a little Apple keyboard, uh, battery powered and uh, connected to an HDMI cable. Uh, I'm going to plug that in right now. And I bought my kit. It came with a 32 gigabyte SD card and a uh, everything you need: the heat sinks and a case and a power supply uh, for 67 bucks. Uh, pretty good deal, except they forgot my heat supply or uh, heat sinks. So they, uh, you know, but uh, Vilros is the company I bought it from. I just gave them a call and they're sending me that right back to me. Uh, however, uh, this is the uh, Kodi OSMC. Uh, open face platform. This is actually the XBMC uh, look. I'm using the Confluence skin in uh, my settings uh, system uh, appearance. So yeah, my skin, I use the Confluence skin. It looks a little easier on the eyes. It's a little simpler and it's the old fashioned look for when Cody was XBMC. It makes things a little easier for tutorials uh, like this or demonstrations. Um, we go into uh, videos, which is mainly what this is used for, and, and I'll show you a little bit about the add-ons. Uh, oh, we got a little sad face. Sometimes uh, the Raspberry Pi overworks itself a little bit, but uh, it goes right back to it. It keeps chugging along. So we'll go back to add-ons. Uh, go into. Al Jazeera, we've got a you know free live streaming news. Exodus, this is a very interesting, uh, controversial uh, add-on right here, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, we go down to get more. There's all kinds of different uh, free little uh, add-ons for you through the Kodi network, all relating to uh, uh, video. Uh, most of these are streaming from different countries or have uh, you know have roots in different countries or different uh, broadcasting stations. Uh, there's a good South Park uh, add-on you can get in the ad or uh, free Kodi add-on repositories, and then there's uh, YouTube of course. Uh, we got music and programs, and I wanted to show you a little bit about third-party add-ons and how that kind of works. Uh, we'll go. Uh, down to system, the file manager is where we go to add sources. And so as you can see, I've added the Fusion Network. Uh, for a little more instruction on this, you can Google the Fusion Network or tvaddons.ag or Exodus. Any of those uh, will work, and, and you can look up instructions on how to get connected uh, to the various networks of third-party add-ons. Uh, we'll go back actually to uh, the system and go to our add-on settings and we go back and as you can see we install from these zip files connected to the network source we're streaming from all kinds of different repositories uh, for Kodi which used to be called uh, XBMC instead of OSMC so XBMC repos there's all kinds of different free streaming content or uh, different add-on repositories there's a dolt and uh, international kind, but we're gonna, for our purposes, go to English. And uh, uh, we've got all kinds of different uh, repositories with different programs ready for you to install for your OSMC Kodi device. Uh, XBMC Hub is down here. That's one that I've uh, downloaded for these demonstration purposes. Uh, we'll go in, and I'll show you a little bit how much how these uh, repositories work. When you install a repository from a zip file, you gotta go back and install different add-ons from these repositories that you've now connected to with your device. All kinds of different programs. Uh, some of these are just for restarting and, and wiping your OSMC platform or uh, you know, Fresh Start, that's a good one to download. 
that's a third-party app. Now, these aren't all uh, Kodi ready apps. You know, these aren't uh, supported by the Kodi and OSMC foundations, but they are pretty nifty. Uh, you know, Phoenix is one that will do uh, you know something controversial, free uh, television, and I'll talk a little bit about that too which is what a lot of people use their Kodi machines for, is uh, free television. Uh, it, the legality is a little uh, iffy on streaming from a Kodi device like this. I don't want to show any copyrighted content, but I'll give you an idea of the kind of uh, variety you can see. Uh, we're going to TV shows. Uh, the kind of variety you can see with Kodi and OSMC. Go to most popular. It's a good one to look at, uh, and it's kind of like having uh, Netflix or HBO or Showtime without uh, having to pay the extra money. I mean, uh, this is all free. Now, the legality of streaming these shows is uh, it's, it's debatable, but um, you know a lot of people have been doing it, and uh, Cody hasn't taken any steps against it. In fact, they they have kind of a neutral stance on the whole idea. So uh, that's my uh, hacking project for hacking and open source cultures. I think it's pretty nifty and it's a controversial and uh, hackable device. You know, uh, I think it fits the hacker's ethic with free information and, and it has that controversial edge to it uh, that we see with Pirate Bay and hackers of the 21st century. So uh, thank you very much uh, and I hope you enjoyed my video and my presentation and my project.